Hello everyone. Today our topic is principle of dimensional homogeneity and dimensional analysis. And we are discussing on what is principle of homogeneity and we are going to use dimensional analysis to check the correctness of physical relation rho equals to pg upon 4 pi rg and derive the relation of time period of simple pendulum with mass of bob m length of string l and acceleration due to gravity g which relation is t equals to 2 pi root under l by g using dimensional analysis so let's get started first of all what is principle of homogeneity principle of homogeneity states that the dimensions of each fundamental quantities on left hand side of an equation must be equal to dimensions of each fundamental quantities on right hand side of the equation suppose we have a equation a plus b equals to c plus d then the dimensions of each term each fundamental quantity a b c and d must be same in the equation now let's move on to the problem based on dimensional analysis here the problem is check the correctness of equation using dimensional analysis and the equation is rho equals to 3g upon 4 pi rg where rho equals to density of earth g equals to acceleration due to gravity r equals to radius of earth and g equals to gravitational constant here we can check whether a physical relation is dimensionally correct or not using dimensional analysis any relation is dimensionally correct if it follows the principle of homogeneity that is dimension of quantities on left hand side of the equation is equal to dimension of quantities on right hand side of the equation so we need to find the dimensions of each terms on the equation now we have rho which is density equals to mass upon volume the dimension of mass is m and volume is l cube so the dimension of rho becomes ml power minus 3 so the dimension of rho equals to ml power minus 3 similarly for finding the dimension of g we have the unit of g meter per second square and in dimensional form it can be written as uh, the meter can be written as l and second square can be written as t square so the dimension of g is gonna be lt power minus 2 so dimension of g equals to lt power minus 2 similarly r is the radius of earth which is measured in length so dimension of r equals to l and to find the dimension of g we have the formula f equals to g m1 m2 upon r square from that we get g equals to f r square upon m1 m2 where f is force r is radius and m1 m2 are masses of two bodies now we have dimension of f equals to mlt minus 2 since force is product of mass and acceleration and the dimension of mass is yours yum and dimension of acceleration is lt power minus 2 so dimension of force is mlt minus 2 similarly dimension of r square is l square and dimension of m1 and m2 are m and m respectively since both are masses of two bodies so the dimension of g will be so dimension of g equals to m power minus 1 l cube and t minus 2 similarly here 3 upon 4 pi in our equation is a dimensionless constant now what we are going to do next is substitute those dimensions of each terms in our equation we had the equation rho equals to 3g upon 4 pi rg so dimension of lhs is gonna be ml power minus 3 we have uh, in lhs only rho 
so the dimension of LHS is same as dimension of rho which is ml power minus 3 similarly dimension of RHS equals to LT power minus 2 upon L times M minus 1 L cube T minus 2 we have just substituted the dimensions of each term on RHS in the given equation now we see that dimension of LHS dimension of each term on LHS is equals to dimension of the term on RHS which is ml power minus 3 so this equation is dimensionally correct now let's move on to our next problem derive the following relation using dimensional analysis if the time period of simple pendulum t may depend on mass of bob m length of string l and acceleration due to gravity g here we need to derive the relation of time period of simple pendulum which is given as t equals to 2 pi root under l by g using dimensional analysis uh, here it is given that time period may depend on mass of bob m length of string l and acceleration due to gravity g so we suppose the following as t is proportional to m power a t is proportional to l power b and t proportional to g power c since it is said that time may depend on these all quantities so combining these all equations we get t proportional to m power a l power b and g power c this changes into t equals to k times m power a l power b g power c where k is any dimensionless constant now using principle of homogeneity we have the dimension of each term on lhs of equation should be equals to dimension of term on right side of the equation so dimension of t is t m is m l is l and g which is acceleration is lt power minus 2 and k is dimensionless constant so uh, using principle of homogeneity we we could equate these dimensions this can also be written as m power 0 l power 0 t1 equals to m m power a l power b plus c and t power minus 2c comparing the dimensions on both side we get a equals to 0 b plus c equals to 0 and minus 2c equals to 1 here we are comparing the dimensions of m l t on both side here m m power 0 and on the rhs we have got m power a so a equals to 0 and here comparing the dimensions of l we have l power 0 and lhs and l power b plus c and rhs so b plus c is also equals to 0 and similarly we have minus 2c equals to 1 again solving these equations we get a equals to 0 b equals to 1 by 2 and c equals to minus 1 by 2 now we are going to substitute the values of a b c on our previous equation 1 which was uh, t equals to k m power a l power b and g power c substituting the values of a b c in that equation we get t equals to k root under l by g the value of k is experimentally found to be 2 pi value of k is dimensional less constant so uh, we cannot get the value of k using dimensional analysis but the value of k is experimentally found to be 2 pi so t equals to 2 pi root under l by g which was the required equation and this is it this is all for this video if you have any problem on any topic of physics just comment below and I will be solving it in my next video. Thank you very much.